Canton High School boys hockey action. This is Pete DeSisto, high above rinkside here in the broadcasting from the Joe Donnelly broadcast booth. And we have an exciting game today. I'll tell you, doesn't get any better than this. Canton Bulldogs, Franklin Panthers on a Saturday night before a snowstorm. It is awesome. I mean, you know, you can't ask for a better uh, a better Saturday night here. Canton on fire to start this uh, this season out 6-0-1. They beat Franklin in a non-league game 4-3 back in December. So Franklin's got uh, a little chip on their shoulder, I'm sure, to come into this game. Franklin 4-4 four four this year. Uh, uh, record really doesn't indicate. I'll tell you, they played some really tough teams. They lost to CM, obviously lost to Canton, St. John's of Shrewsbury. So just a few of the teams but uh, you know this is always a, a bond burner here uh, when Canton and Franklin get together you know Canton led by uh, that first unit uh, Brent, Brendan Torgy the senior captain uh, Travis Thomas and the freshman uh, Ryan Elric I mean just playing unbelievable we uh, we we, we uh, brought you the the Westwood game the Joe Donnelly uh, Memorial game and I'll tell you that line played unbelievable uh, the freshman uh, Elric just had a great game Brendan Torgy, just a strong, uh, strong leader and, a, uh, you know, just a strong uh, player at, uh, out there all the time. But Franklin, you can't, uh, you know, they always come back. They always have good players. Uh, you know, again, like Canton, just a great hockey town. And uh, they never, they, they're really never rebuilding. They're always reloading. And I'll tell you, this should be a great game. Connor Gagan, the junior goaltender in net, playing unbelievable this year, stepped right in. Um, from last year, and uh, just he's been playing very, very well. And again, Canton 6 0 and 1, uh, and that shows uh, that pretty much tells the story. One league game each. Uh, Canton beat uh, Foxborough 4 to 2 the other night, and um, Franklin, uh, I believe they beat North Attleboro. So both teams uh, in the league have won a game, but uh, you know, this is the one that counts. This is the big one every year. We look forward to this one. Uh, you know, this, this is a great game with, uh, with Franklin, and uh, we always look forward to that. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with the national anthem and the drop of the puck in just a few minutes. Hello, fa hockey viewers. We're happy to be bringing you special um, YouTube coverage of this game from the Canon Community Television stream. So we are now having hockey coverage on our YouTube channel here at CHS Video 02021. It appears that the game will be starting soon, so I'm going to pass it over back to the announcers at the rink. So sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's hockey broadcast.
Dan Cheney. Starting at forward, Carter Bolducci. Starting at forward, Jack Warnick. Starting at defense, Owen Arenati. Starting at defense, Logan Marchand. And starting in net, Colby Wagner. And now, the starting lineup for your Canton Bulldogs. Starting at center, senior captain, Brendan Torgi. Starting at forward, freshman, Ryan Elric. Starting at forward, junior, Travis Thomas. Starting at defense, sophomore, Gavin Thompson. Starting at defense, senior captain, Matt Anderson. And starting in goal, number 30, Connor Gagan. Ladies and gentlemen, please remove the caps for the national anthem. Welcome back, hockey fans, here at the Metropolis Rink. Pete DeSisto waiting for the opening face-off here on this great Saturday night game. The Bulldogs against the Panthers of Franklin, Massachusetts. Always an awesome game. Uh, I am here by myself tonight. My partner, John Marconi, home. Uh, unfortunately, the CEO of the Bulldogs, Matty Marconi, a little under the weather tonight. So John's home with him. So... Uh, I will be bringing you all the action here as we await the opening face-off. And again, this this uh, this is a, a game we look forward to every single uh, every single year. I mean, always a great game, hard hitting, fast, and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see how both teams come out. Like we said uh, earlier, Franklin uh, can't beat Franklin earlier in the season uh, back in December. And uh, four to three, so a good game down in down in Franklin. But uh, so that gives Franklin a little bit of a a, a uh, incentive here. We'll see what happens. So Canton gets the puck down into the Franklin zone. They're going to move it out here. Warnick has it for Franklin. He tries to scoot by, gets it, gets it down deep. Daly has it behind the net. He throws it around. His defenseman wasn't there, so he's going to take it back into his own zone. Balducci takes it. He throws it up. Tried to hit Daly, couldn't connect as Canton now tries to break it out, and they do. Canton loses it, but picked up there by, uh, by Torgi. Torgi throws it towards the net. Uh, took the backhand as he uh, had Travis Thomas in front of the net. Just kind of had the puck and, and twirled around, took the backhand. Easy shot on net for Colby Wagner to uh, stop and tie the puck up. So the face off to his left as uh, faceoff goes back to the point. Puck loose in front. There's, uh, Blakey takes the shot. That goes wide. That's going to go back to the point. And Franklin tries to move it out. They can't. Can't able to keep it in. In the corner now. Franklin able to move it up. As Drury. But back comes Franklin. Oh, nice move. Gets right by uh, number four, Grady Carr. 
puck behind the net. Carr with a big hit there. Back comes Canton now. Canton out of the zone, into the Franklin zone. They're going to be stopped right there. Puck is going to bounce out. Back comes Franklin now. Lampasona has it. He makes a move. He takes a shot on a big save there by Gagan. Connor Gagan came out and made the stop. And there's a whistle. And we are going to have, I believe, a penalty. Not sure who it's on. Looks like it's going to be on Franklin. And they're going to call an interference call on number 28, Anthony Lampasona. So Canton with a huge break here. They're going to go on the power play. Big opportunity. Only a minute into this game. On the faceoff here, Travis Thomas, he wins that one. That goes back to the point. Anderson throws it over, but uh, Davis able to move it out for Franklin. It's going to go back to the Canton zone. Canton will start out with it. Schumann has it. Goes rank wide. Can't connect with Torji. As Franklin able to get it out of their zone. Canton will start out with it again. As they gain the line, Thomas takes it. Oh, he takes a big hit there. And puck is thrown around. Schumann keeps it in. He's going to step in. He takes the shot. Oh, he scores! Schumann take the shot on net. And Thomas, right in front, redirected it right past Colby Wagner. And Canton goes up one to nothing. Great play there. Schumann, I think he saw, uh, I think he saw uh, Thomas right there on the, on the doorstep. I don't think that was a shot on net. I think he was trying to pass it to him. And Thomas just uh, deflected it into the net past Colby Wagner. And I'll tell you, huge opportunity for Canton. They take advantage of it. And Canton up one to nothing. Travis Thomas with the goal. And Schumann on the assist. I'll tell you, great play there. Good heads up play by Schumann. He just stepped in, a couple steps in, and, and took picked his head up. And I think he saw Travis Thomas all right on the doorstep and just put it right on his stick for Thomas to, uh, to, uh, to just redirect that puck. And he did it and put it right past uh, Wagner and Canton up one to nothing now. And they'll keep the puck in the net. Drury throws it out front. That's blocked there. That goes back to the point. Canton takes a shot. Oh, Wagner with the save there. As Ryan has it, Joe Ryan, the fresh, uh, sorry, sophomore Joe Ryan. Uh, oh, and there's a big shot and a save. And that's still loose. And it stopped there. And I believe that was Ryan on the doorstep. Joe Ryan again right there as he was waiting for that rebound and kind of hacked at it a few times. And he got buried but got right back up. So Canton keeps the pressure on Franklin with another good opportunity there. So faceoff to the right of Colby Wagner on the faceoff here. Canton. Able to, uh, that puck's going to be kept, uh, just just goes out of the, into the Franklin bench as it was deflected there. Will set tried to keep it in, but uh, deflected into the Franklin bench. So faceoff will be just outside the Franklin zone. One to nothing, Canton on a power play goal by Travis Thomas. So Franklin going to try and move it. Ar Arente, he'll throw it up down deep. Hager gives chase as... Uh, Doucette will throw it up the boards. Doucette gets it up to McCready. McCready throws it up to Gershney. And that goes out of the zone. That's going to go back to the Canton defense. Anderson throws it up. That, and that stopped there, but just outside the zone. As that was number seven, McCready just couldn't keep it in as he was just outside. So that'll be offside on Canton. 11.51 left in the first period. One to nothing the score. Face-off, uh, Torji on the face-off. He gets it uh, to Tra Travis Thomas, who scored that goal. Threw it towards the net. Just couldn't get it uh, on net, though. And Canton trying to keep it in. That's going to go back to uh, Grady Carr. Carr will throw it down deep. And this is going to be icing on the Bulldogs. And that face-off will go all the way back down to the Canton zone. So, again, good action here. Canton with the control so far with the, the uh, territorial advantage, taking a bunch of shots on net. Wagner made a bunch of good saves. One big save on the other end by Gagan early in this period on Lampasona. So, Connor Gagan already tested and 
already uh, made a big save there, so Torgy will take it out. And Canton will throw it into the neutral zone. It goes into fr the Franklin zone. They're going to move it out, though. Warnig has it. He's going to throw it up to Davis. That's going to go back to the point. Tolley throws it in. Schumann now has it. Schumann with a big assist there on that goal to Travis Thomas. Schumann will start out with it. Nice pass up to Torgy. He takes a shot. Uh, Brendan Torgy tried to take that shot. That just deflected by the defenseman. That'll go into the netting. So we'll have a face-off here in the Franklin zone. Canton with a quick change here. So out there now is going to be on the face-off. I believe that's Brendan Clegg. And Franklin able to move it out of their own zone. Clegg on the back check. He able to take that puck away. Clegg again throws it up. Can't enable to stop it in their own zone. They're going to control it. O'Brien can't control that one. And that, will again, will be icing on Canton as that will go all the way down into the Canton zone to the right of Connor Gagan. So both teams having their opportunities, but just, uh, you know, a little slow right now. That both, both teams icing the puck a couple times. So trying to hit that Hail Mary pass. So Franklin's going to win that one. Oh, and there's a shot. Oh, big stop again by Connor Gagan. So Franklin at the point now. Franklin will throw it down deep. That goes to Canton now. Thompson has it. He'll throw it around. As Canton trying to move it out, Drury tries to get it. He can't control. Joe Ryan now on the forecheck. And the puck's going to go out to center ice as Thompson throws it up. Canton will start out with it again. They go cross ice. That goes to Blake. And in the corner, Drury. Drury with the big hit. And Franklin tries to clear it out. Canton trying to move it into the Franklin zone as both teams at center ice trying to gain control. Canton are on the way back. Here comes Joe Ryan. He's going to throw it down deep. He's going for a change on the forecheck here is Colin Blake and Franklin able to move it out. Gonna go up ice to McCready. McCready has it. He's going to dump it down deep, and that will be offside again on Canton. So the faceoff will come out outside the line as, uh, again, both teams having their opportunities, just uh, not able to, uh, not able, Canton on that play, not able to get it over the line in time, so. Face off just outside the Franklin zone as Howard digs for it. That goes up to McCready. McCready stops it with his skate. He's going to start over again. Canton trying to move it down. That's going to go down. Gersney throws it down. That's stopped by the Franklin defense. Tolley has it. He throws it out. McCready stops it. Now Howard has it. He'll throw it across ice. That's intercepted there. Langevin had it, but just again, a little sloppy play on both sides. Uh, both teams putting them their uh, respective play, line mates offside, doing that ex one little extra move at the at the blue line, and uh, just a bunch of offsides here. So getting a little overzealous trying to get into the zone, I guess. But face off down, uh, one by Canton. It's going to be thrown out by Canton. That stopped there as Canton trying to move the puck out now. That's number 24, Thompson. He gets it up. Canton moving it up. That's uh, Tor uh, Torgy. Sorry, O'Brien, my mistake. So Canton trying to keep that puck in. They do. O'Brien now on the forecheck. Clegg now, along with LaBelle. But puck goes in. Oh, LaBelle with the puck. Throws it towards the net. Oh, just uh, goes wide as he had Wagner down. And the defenseman misplayed that puck and just almost lost it. And O'Brien able to push that puck through the crease but just couldn't connect. And that's going to be icing on Franklin as they decided, forget this, we're going to throw that puck all the way down and, uh, and start over again as both teams are going to change up. Good play there by O'Brien. Colin O'Brien took the puck almost. I think he tried to bank it off the, the back, the, off the skate of Wagner to try and get it in the net, but uh, just went through the crease. 
So the first Unificanton out there, Torji. Torji's going to win that one. It's going to go back to the point. Schumann has it. He throws it to the net. Behind the net now is Elric. Elric throws it out front. That's intercepted. Back comes Franklin. Grady Carr now has it behind his own net. He's going to throw it up the boards. He tries to get it to Travis Thomas, but that gets thrown behind the net. Puck behind there. Carr with the uh, with a big hit. Puck bounces right out in front, takes a shot. Oh, that just goes wide to the left of Connor Gag, and Puck still in the Canton zone. Carr has it now. He's going to try and move it up to Thomas. He gets it. He does get it up. He gets it to Torji. Torji tries to go through the defense as he gets stopped. And again, Franklin ices the puck. As uh, they weren't even going for a hail mary on that one. They just uh, they just decided they were going to ice that puck. Didn't want that first uh, first line for Canton to being able to set up in the, in their zone. So and get any kind of uh, shot on that. So face off to the left of Wagner. On the face off, McCready he wins that one. That goes back to the point. Oh, and deflected out front, picked up by the. Franklin defense that's stopped by number three, Brandon Morris, who stepped in. Again, can't able to keep it in. Howard now on the four check. It's going to go around the net. And McGershney fighting for it. And Franklin able to move that puck out of the out of the zone. Langevin has it. He makes a move at the blue line. He takes a shot that just goes wide on oh, the rebound. And Franklin able to put that puck in. Langevin took the shot, deflected, pass, it went, went wide, deflected right out in front. And the Franklin player, I'm not sure who got that goal. We'll listen for the number, but Franklin able to pick up the loose puck right out in front of the net and put it past uh, Gagan. And uh, so Franklin able to, uh, able to get on the board here. Um, six minutes left in this period. So one to one, the score on a kind of an odd goal there, as as the puck was shot, went wide of Gagan, came right out the other side off the boards, and the defense not able to get it, and Franklin able to put it in there. So makes this game one to one, and Canton's going to dump it down deep now, as Tolley has it. He throws it up. That's intercepted there by by. Uh, Colin, uh, <laughs> Colin Blake took that shot. Sorry, um, and a big shot there again by number twenty, Joe Ryan, and Wagner takes uh, takes that one in and able to tie that one up. So face off to the left of Wagner here, one to one the score, six thirteen left in this first period. On the face off, Brendan Torgy, first unificant out there. Thomas and Elric. Torji uh, wins it, but picked up there by Daly. Daly, the captain for Franklin. That's going to be thrown around the boards to Elric. Elric has it. He gets it up to Torji. He's going to throw it down as Travis Thomas gives chase. Now it's going to go all the way back to Schumann in the Canton zone. That's picked up by Elric. Now Torji. Torji has it. He goes into the zone. He takes a shot. Wagner with the save. Torji now on the forecheck along with Elric. But back comes Franklin again. Balducci has it. He'll throw it down deep. He's checked there. Schumann behind his own net. Schumann will start it out. He's checked. Canton trying to move it out of their own zone. They finally do. That's going to go to Torji. He throws it in as Canton trying to get a change, and they do. Get some fresh legs out there. The puck's going to go all the way down into the Canton zone. Carr has it behind his own net. He's going to throw it up the boards, gets it to O'Brien, goes rink wide. Oh, and a big shot there. That was number 22, Travis Thomas, still on the ice from that first unit. Took the shot, just goes wide. As Franklin comes back now, McAvoy comes in. Gary Carr gets it to the corner. He's checked hard by McAvoy. Carr goes down but gets right back up. Schumann has it now. He gets checked. As he goes the other way with it, Carr has it. He's going to throw it out of the zone. As Canton finally gets it out, Clegg on the back check. That's going to go up to LaBelle now. He'll throw it down deep as Canton going for the change. LaBelle on the four check. 
as Franklin gets it out of their own zone. Puck into the neutral zone now. Canton still on the change, trying to get some fresh legs out there. Franklin now, Harrington has it. He'll throw it up the boards. Goes into the Canton zone. McCready now takes it. He'll start it out. Gets it up to Howard. Gains the line. He has, Howard has it. Tries to go past two defensemen. But he's stopped. Gershney has it now. Howard again on the forecheck. Howard trying to keep it in. Three Franklin players there, and Howard comes out with it. Howard gets to the top of the circle. He throws it out front. Oh, it's just deflected wide. Canton defense throws it towards the net. Stopped again. Another shot. Blocked in front. Totally has it for Franklin. Now kept in again by Canton. That was Will Doucette. Kept it in. And again, it's going to go thrown all the way down into the Canton. I mean, the Franklin zone as Canton getting a wholesale change here. Here comes Elric now right off the bench to Torji. Oh, just goes wide. Torji, now Elric has it. That goes over to Thomas who takes the shot. And a big save again by Wagner. Oh, this first unit for Canton. Coach Schulman double shifted him. They came right back out. And Elric took the puck in the zone. Torji got a shot. Thomas got a shot. But Wagner able to keep uh, Canton off the board again. I'll tell you, great play. This first line for Canton just playing great hockey right now. And there's a shot from the point, and Wagner with the stop again. As Franklin now starts out with it, Werning has it. He goes over the zone line. He takes a shot. He's broken up. Puck's going to go out to the neutral zone. Werning has it again. He'll start out with it. Throws it up. Can't hit Daly. Back into the Canton zone, though. And Canton able to keep it out as that's going to be tossed into the corner. It's Franklin going for the wholesale change now. As uh, Canton trying to move it out, Gavin Thomas gets it up. Oh, good play there by Torji. Tried to throw it back to the point. Elric now tried to get it. Elric keeps it in. Franklin able to finally get it out of the zone as this first unit for Canton been out there for a little bit. They're changing up. Back comes Franklin now. McAvoy has it. He goes in. He takes a shot. Oh, and a big save by Gagan. Another stop there as Gagan slid over and made the stop. But back comes Canton again. Canton takes it down into the corner. Right out in front. Oh, and a big stop by Wagner. As right in front, that was number 23. Colin Blake took the shot. A couple shots, actually. Oh, and there's a goal by Franklin. They brought it all the way back, top of the faceoff circle. I believe that was number nine, the captain, Dylan, Dylan McAvoy, took the shot from the top of the faceoff circle. And I'll tell you, that was a bullet that went top shelf. And Connor Gagan just didn't, he didn't have a chance on that one. I'll tell you, he, uh, number nine, Gag, uh, uh, McAvoy came right out onto the top of the circle. He let one rip, and that was a bullet. Not much Gagan could do on that one. So Franklin, tough goal for Canton to give up. Just had a bunch of opportunity in the Franklin zone. And and uh, and, and then uh, come right back. Franklin comes right back and takes a shot on net and gets a goal. So Canton, uh, Franklin up 2-1 to one now as Canton just came down. That was Clegg who took that shot on net and Wagner made the save so a minute 44 left in this first period two to one franklin tough goal to give up that late in the period so we'll see if canton can come back from this one see if they can put one in in the last two minutes of this period so canton's going to win that draw schumann has it schumann he gets it he gets it over to thompson now uh langevin for franklin he's going to start out with it Franklin able to get it out of the zone. Hager has it. He by the defense. He throws it towards the net. And Gagan able to get his glove on it and tie that puck up as Franklin trying to split the defense. Going right in. But Connor Gagan had to be sharp on that one. He made the save and able to tie it up. So Canton changes up their line again. And face off in the Canton zone. Puck loose in the slot, but Canton able to take it out. They're able to dump it down deep. McCready on it. And Franklin now on the breakout. Balducci has it. He goes, tries again, tries to split 
the defense. Daly has it behind the net. He drops it for Balducci. He throws it out front. He can't control. Gershney has it now. Gershney, another freshman, playing very, very well. Coach Schulman, two freshmen in the lineup playing a regular shift. Two really good players, too, uh, Gershney and Elric. So Howard on the uh, forecheck there. And Franklin trying to move it out, and they do. They'll throw it down into the Canton zone. As Anderson loses control, that puck's going to go towards the net, just over the net. Now Schumann has it. He's going to start out with it. He'll throw it up. And back comes Canton again. As uh, Brendan Torgy come off the bench, tried to get it to Elric. Elric throws it down. Now Travis Thomas. Thomas, who has the first goal for Canton, he throws it out front. That's blocked. Travis Thomas will throw it back to the point. Anderson has He throws it towards the net. That's blocked in front. Schulman steps up. And that will do it in the first period as Franklin able to take a 2-1 to -one lead. But I'll tell you, Canton, I, I would say half that period, they, they outplayed Franklin. 100%. They were. Uh, they had a ton of shots. Connor. Uh, Connor w Wagner, for uh, Franklin, made some really, really good saves. Frank and Canton had some really good opportunities, but Franklin came back. They uh, they were able to get that goal. That kind of odd goal came off the boards and back uh, and uh, put them on the board. And then a nice shot by McAvoy there uh, went top shelf past Gagan. So. I'm sure he would like to have that one back especially, but I'll tell you, both teams hard-hitting, you know, fast skating. We knew this game was going to be a tough game for both teams, and uh, Franklin won that period, unfortunately, but Canton, I'm sure Coach Schumann would be in the locker room telling him, uh, giving him instructions for, for the second and third period. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with second period action.
Rodney Law. Yeah. We are back, hockey fans, here at the Metropolis Rake in Canton, Massachusetts. Canton, Franklin, Saturday night, snowstorm. Doesn't get any better than this. And now I'm joined by Steve Willis here, who has graciously uh, come up to give me a hand and uh, bail me out. Steve, good to have you here. Uh, Bulldogs down 2-1. to one. Uh, Tough goal there in the, at the end of the period. Uh, good shot on net by McAvoy. Came to the top of the circle, took a shot, uh, went top shelf with it. Gagan didn't really have a sh uh, shot at it. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, both teams had good opportunity. And you know, Franklin Canton, is, it's always a, always a bond burner uh, for, uh, and a great, great game for both teams. Well, yeah, you know, Pete, it's the rivalry game of the year. Uh, you know, it's what these guys look forward to because the other league games, you know, aren't as good as it, it, as they're good not as good as Franklin. Franklin. Yeah, I mean, no, no in both teams, even you know, for Franklin, same thing. So they both get up for this game. You can tell. Look at it. The place is sold out. You can't. Yeah. There's standing room only, and uh, there's nothing like you know, Canton Franklin. Yeah, no question. And you're right. Uh, great crowd here tonight. A lot of students. Uh, you know, just it's packed. I, I don't. I, I they it definitely sold out here. I don't think they well, let I, anybody else in. Well, I, for sure. I mean, I got in, and you know, Mr. Erickson let me in because I was coming up to help you. But the signs all over the place sold out. Nobody else coming no in. Kidding. So, so yeah. uh, hey, as always, Franklin, uh, Franklin Canton, uh, just always a, a big draw for both towns. You get the kids from coming up uh, from Franklin too. So, uh, just, uh, just. Just a great game overall. So uh, on the opening faceoff here, first unit for Canton out there. Torji wins that one. Gets it back to Anderson. Anderson throws it up. Oh, Elric with a great pass up to Torji. Just goes out of his reach. Oh, good play there by the freshman. Able to fire that puck up. Saw Torji breaking towards the blue line. Hit him right on the tape. But just bounced off a Torji stick. And Good, uh, good play by the Frank and goalie too, Pete. He came out. He was very aggressive and... Uh, deflected the puck out of play. So face-off in the Franklin zone. Torji on the face-off. He's going to win that one again. And Franklin able to get that puck out. Daly comes back with it. Thompson takes him to the corner. Daly still has it. He goes behind the net. He stops. Throws it right out in front. Oh, stop there out in front. As Thompson takes it, he goes into the center ice right zone. He gets it over to Thomas. Travis Thomas, he scored the first goal for Canton. And Franklin trying to move it out now. McAvoy again. He'll throw it down deep. And that's stopped by Anderson. Anderson's broken up. As Franklin on the forecheck. Torji going to move it up to Thomas. Back over to Torji. Torji takes it. Gets it over the line into the corner. He throws it down deep. Drury who came on the ice. Now Carr. Carr takes a shot. Oh, it just goes wide. Deflected by the defense. In the corner now. Blake. That gets thrown around. Carr steps up, keeps it in to Drury. Drury has it, turns the corner, tries to bring it right in on Wagner, but he's stopped. Drury again, he throws it down deep. Blake has it. Joe Ryan now on the forecheck. Ryan will throw it behind the net. Blake with it now. Colin Blake has it. He'll throw it down into the corner. Canton doing a good job forechecking. Back to Schumann. Schumann with a pass. Tried to hit Blake, he does. Blake with the foot, I mean, with the backhand, and that's blocked in front. So Schumann will stay, start out with it again. He'll throw it down deep into the Franklin zone. Drury on the forecheck. As Franklin does break it out, Schumann stops it. He's going to start up with it. He has to wait for Drury to get over, over the uh, back on side, and he'll just throw it down deep into the Franklin zone. Great Can't, job. Great start to the second period, Pete. Keeping that forecheck going, keeping the puck down low. Uh, not any shots, but making Franklin work in the defensive zone. So Franklin in alone on oh, a big save again by Gagan. Big stop there as that was number 16. Jack Warnick, he came in and went right around the defense and took a backhand on Gagan, and he made the nice stop there, Steve. Yeah, that was a nice save right there. Timely, too, Pete, because, you know, Canton was carrying the play. And you don't want to, you know, let Franklin come down and get that first shot of the period and score a goal. That little demoralizing if you let that happen. So McCready on the faceoff, he's going to win that one. That's going to go back to Doucette. Doucette throws it up to Howard. Howard with control now. Howard tries to take it out of the zone, and he's broken up. Back comes Franklin again. 
they throw it out in front. That's thrown out, out uh, away from the net by Morris. Franklin again has the puck in the Canton zone. That's Daly has it. He throws it back behind the net. Morris now will take it. He'll start it out. He throws it up and out into the neutral zone. And that's stopped there by Tolley. Tolley throws it up. Can't hit one of, one of the Franklin player coming right off the bench. Almost went in alone. But uh, McCready back to get him as Canton throws it up. And, and Gershney, the freshman, on the forecheck as Franklin trying to move it out. And they finally do. Back comes Franklin. Quinn has it. He gains the line, throws it towards the net, goes over the net. Oh, big, big hit there. We're going to get a penalty on Franklin. Penalty on Franklin. As That looks like it's going to be a boarding call yeah, as Elric. Be from behind, something like that. Yeah, yeah, Elric, the freshman, he got nailed. Got right back up, though. So Canton with a delayed call. Anderson has He throws it towards the net. That's blocked in front. Elric now has it. He throws it out in front. Rebound. He throws it towards the net. Wagner again with the save. And there's finally the whistle. As Canton with a couple of good shots on net. As Elric, the freshman, turned, had a nice backhand pass out in front. Brendan Torgi took a shot. Wagner made the save. But Elric <laughs> got hit from behind on that sideboards. And it looks like it's going to be a two-minute minor on Franklin. So huge opportunity here. Canton scored on the power play, Steve, in the first period uh, on that pa nice pass from Schumann to Thomas. And we'll see if Canton can capitalize yeah, let's on see the if opportunity. They can capitalize right here, Pete. I like how they put the goalie get off the ice quick for that to get that extra skater on, too. Schumann has it. Now he throws it towards Wagner. Oh, big stop there. So Wagner makes the save as a Another shot on net there as Schumann from the point. Little snapshot. And Wagner able to, uh, able to tie that one up as there were three Canton players on the doorstep. So Travis Thomas taking the face off. He's out there with Torgy and Elric. And Elric, that'll get thrown around the boards. And Franklin able to move it down deep. Schumann on the puck. He's forechecked there. But uh, Anderson now has it. Matt Anderson. We'll take it out. He gets it up to Thomas. Thomas touch, touches it, gets it into the uh, Franklin zone. But Franklin able to gain control, and they're going to dump it the length of the ice. And back comes Anderson to pick up the loose puck behind Gig, and he'll start out with it as Canton will start on the power play. 120 left on this power play. Torgy has it. He gains the line. He's going to take it down deep. Torgy turns it right out front to Elric. He takes a shot. He scores! The freshman, Elric, Ryan Elric, on a great pass from Brendan Torgi. What a play by Torgi, Pete. He kind of coasted in the zone, and then he turned on the Jets around the Franklin defenseman right into the slot to Eldrick, and he didn't miss. I'll tell you, Torgi took it down. He had his head up the whole time, Steve, looking to see who was out front. And Elric, what a very, very smart hockey player, you can tell, going right for the net, stick on the ice, giving him a target, Right on, and it was a one time. Right, right in the area, and he and Petey found space, and he didn't drift too far. He stayed in that space, and Torgi, beautiful pass, no question there. So the freshman Ryan Elric took the hit on this to to uh, to, to get this power play. So a, a little little payback right there to uh, you know that's what you get for getting a penalty, <laughs> no question. So Elric with the big with the uh, big goal there, second power play goal of the game for Canton. As play continues now, Franklin's going to dump it down deep. That stop, Gagan stops it for Morris. He throws it out. Drury now is going to intercept that pass. He gets it into the Franklin zone. Drury has it behind the net. One hands it across to Blake. Blake one one time out in front. Oh, I just couldn't. Connect with Joe Ryan. Ryan out in front, just tied up by the Franklin defense. He just couldn't get his stick on it. Yeah, just got stuck in the, in the feet, Pete, and he just uh, he's wide open in front too. You know, just couldn't get a stick on it. So big opportunity there. Uh, Joe Ryan out in front, just couldn't get his stick on that pass. So uh, face off down as Canton iced the puck. So face off in the Canton zone. And they'll start out with it. Thompson has it, but he loses it to the Franklin player. Number seven, Patterson. He takes a shot on net as Canton tries to move it out, and they finally do as Canton uh, 
Number 28, Anderson, I believe, is, is very, very slow to get up behind his own net. He took a big hit there to the head, it looked like. And Franklin able to move that puck up. Daly comes in. Oh, and good pass over. Tried to hit his line mate Patterson, but couldn't connect him. Back comes Canton again. O'Brien has the puck. He leaves it. Tries to get it back to Anderson, but Franklin that intercepts. That could be icing. Oh, no, yeah, no icing. I'm surprised. I thought that would be an icing call too, Steve, but uh, waved it off. So that puck goes behind the net. So Daly has it for Franklin. He's checked there. Now it's picked up by McAvoy, who has that uh, second goal for Franklin. Puck thrown right out in front as uh, Thompson throws it towards the net. Oh, and a big save by Kagan. Oh, big save on a turnaround shot from Patterson. And Gagan flashed that pad. Great save there, Steve. It, it got deflected first, and then the Franklin player picked it up point blank. And like you said, flash out the pad. What a kick save. So, I don't know. They, they do kick saves anymore? A uh, kick no. save and a beauty? Uh, yeah, kick <laughs> save and a beauty. <laughs> so, face off in the... They don't, they don't do the double stacks anymore. No, no, but no. <laughs> it's a lost art. <laughs> lost art for them. So, Franklin wins that face off, but that's blocked, and... And Gersney, the other freshman, he comes out with it. That's going to go out to center ice. And McCready, Huck McCready picks it up. Howard throws it into Gersney, and he takes a shot, and that just goes wide. Good play there by the freshman. Doucette now throws it down deep. Howard again, he gets it back to the point. Morris takes, gets it over, gets it over to the, uh, down behind the net. Morris is going to move up, try and keep that puck in. He does. He's in there with Howard trying to gain control against three Franklin players. Howard's still there. Big kid Howard. He's able to fight off two Franklin players at once. As Puck's still into the corner. McCready now comes out with it. McCready has it. He stops. He tries to go the other way. He gets it to Gershney. Gershney tries to throw it out front. Gets it to McCready. McCready has it now. He throws it down deep again. Howard has it. So Canton doing a good job keeping it in the... Franklin zone, not able to get a shot on net, but good, uh, good puck movement. Great, great work along the boards, McCready and Howard there, Pete, uh, making Franklin work really hard in their own zone. So puck into the Canton zone. Back comes Gershney again. He gets it up to Torji, who came on the ice. He's got Howard. Torji comes in the zone. He takes a shot. Oh, uh, just goes wide as Elric comes on the ice. That's just going to get out of the zone as Grady Carr has it now. Carr throws it into the middle, gets it over to Torji. Torji starts out with it again. He takes a shot. That's just going to go wide. Daly for Franklin. He's checked there. As that's going to go out to center ice. Schumann has it. Schumann tries to hit Torji. Can't connect. Carr back over to Schumann now. Schumann will move it up. Gets it up to Torji. Just can't control it. As that's going to go down into the, can uh, the Franklin zone. Harrington has it. He'll throw it up the boards. He gets it to Balducci. And that's going to go out all the way down into the Canton zone. No icing. Schumann now, he's checked there as that's going to go out. Nice pass between the legs to, by Thomas to uh, Torji. Torji takes a shot. That's just going to go wide. Defense changes up. That was uh, 24. Thompson off the bench. He kept it in. Oh, puck right out in front. Now back to the point. Anderson takes a shot. Low shot. Just blocked in front. Franklin again just ices the puck as Canton had some, another good opportunity right in front of the, uh, Wagner for great, Franklin. Great pressure. Torgy, he was on the side of the net, Pete. It got hung up in his skate. He had a wide open net. He just couldn't get a hold of it. He's flying out there right now, Pete Torgy. He's just, his, his skating is just fantastic. Absolutely. Senior captain, Brendan Torgy, four-year player here for Canton. I mean, he is, uh, feels like we've been calling his name for, for, a, <laughs> for a long time. Four years, he's, uh, he's done very, very well. And I'll tell you, uh, certainly uh, leading the charge out there right now. So that's a shot by uh, Thompson. He, that's going to go over the net. Anderson throws it towards the net. That's going to go wide. Thompson comes in. He shoots, and that's stopped in front. Hits a Franklin player, and Franklin's going to uh, uh, get it out of the zone. That's stopped by Anderson in, in uh, the Canton zone. He throws it up, gets it to Drury. Drury with a nice toe drag, gets it into front. Oh, tried to hit. I think that was Anderson in front, but he broke his stick as he went to. And out comes Gagan to tie the puck up. And 
as Gagan took a skate to the head. And the Canton, Canton defense didn't really care for that. Well, he came out. He came flying out, Pete. It was a race to the puck, and he had it covered up, and the Franklin kid didn't stop. I don't know how you you determine it. You know, is that a penalty on Franklin for you know running over the goalie? But now you got a skirmish in the corner, and you know who knows what'll happen from this. Yeah, I think they're gonna call. I, they're definitely gonna call somebody. I'm not 100 percent sure what. Uh, if both teams are going to get it, or like you said, Steve, that you know, Gagan had he came out, he was 30 feet out of the net, and and to slot to get that puck, it was a race to the puck, did a good job, had his uh, glove on it, but definitely took a knee to the head. And, and he was definitely the, going to be the first one to get to the puck. So, you know, the Franklin, you know, they always, uh, you know, they err on the side of caution with a goalie anyway, because he doesn't, you know, he doesn't get any physical action right exactly you know well, we're all very sensitive steve <laughs> you know but it, so the referees are trying to kind of iron this out and see uh see who's going to get some penalties i gotta think they're going to give give I, something I, out of that skirmish in the corner there yeah i mean both teams i would uh, say probably four on four yeah something like that yeah well we'll so here he's definitely putting a canton player in there too so we'll uh we'll try and sort this out so there's I haven't Drury. seen a Franklin player go in the blocks yeah. yet. Number 29, Drury's going to go in. We'll see if we can uh, – I don't know if there's a uh, – there is a Franklin player in the box already. Uh, uh, maybe not, actually. I think he's just hanging on the end of the bench yeah. still, Pete. So I don't know. I'd, I'd be surprised if they only called one on Canton on this one, Steve. I, I think that's uh, – you know, I'm not sure that's the uh, the right call. But I thought they were waving at somebody to get into the box, so – yeah, he's going in. Okay, so there's he's that, going that's uh, McAvoy, yeah. captain for um, Franklin. He's not happy with the call, but it, you know what? It's the right call, Pete. Yeah, no question. Out of something nice. like that, I mean, it's it's tough to – yeah, should there have been a penalty maybe on, you know, running into the goalie? Because he, he could have got out of the way because the goalie already had the puck covered up. Now, kudos to Canton, you know, defending their goalie in the corner. You know, no one gets thrown out. You just have one, you know – Two matching penalties. That yeah, you can no, live with that. No, nah, absolutely. I mean, they had they had to call something. Yeah, they had no yeah. choice. They well, had, if they you don't call, call that, something. then you know the the ref the game can start escalating and getting out of hand. So on the faceoff here is Brendan Clegg. So it's going to be uh, number twenty nine, Pat Drury. So nine, Franklin with the puck in the in the Canton zone. Couldn't quite hear what the penalties, what the call was. I'm assuming it was roughing on both yeah, players. Yeah, I, I would say roughing. Oh, and there's a shot, right turnaround shot, and a big save by Gagan again. Oh, I mean, uh, oh, big, big hit there by Grady Carr as number 18 LaBelle picks up the puck. That goes to Schulman now. Schulman tries to throw it into O'Brien. He's checked. O'Brien has it. He's going to get it back to Schulman at the point. He throws it in. Oh, gets it into uh, oh, Clegg, who took the shot, that just goes wide. Schumann over the car. Car throws it. That's just tipped wide. As Canton with some good offense. Now LaBelle in the, uh, throws it back to Grady Car. He throws it in. O'Brien tries to get it. Schumann steps up, able to pick up the loose puck. Schumann has it. And that's blocked in front. As... On the ice now, Gershney comes off the bench. He throws it out in front. Tried to hit Clegg out in front, but that just went off his stick. Gershney again has it. He throws it towards the net. That's going to go wide as Canton trying to get a change, and they do. As some fresh legs come out, Franklin now trying to change. Back comes Doucette. Doucette throws it rink wide. Gets it up to Gershney, who took a big hit, the freshman. As uh, that was the Hail Mary pass, he got it up from uh, number 27, Doucette. But Gershney got checked off the puck, so that uh, puck goes out to center ice now as Doucette has it. Doucette will take it as he's checked. And kind of a hook there, but no call. A little on, bit of a hook, but on, they get away with it. No call on uh, looking for the referee to raise his arm. Nothing there. So, oh, stolen by McCready. McCready has it. He throws it towards the net. Wagner with the save. Puck on the sideboards. Franklin able to move it out. And Canton throws it down deep. McCready now will forecheck. Franklin trying to move it out. They do. They get it into center ice. 
They'll throw it towards Gagan. Puck on the other side of the net now. Elric has it. Elric, the freshman, gets it up to Anderson. Anderson gets it to Thomas. Over to Torji. Torji comes in. Over to Elric. Oh, just behind him. Good play there. Uh, Tic-tac-toe passing right there. Play almost like a, a set play they had. Yeah, no question. I mean, that was all all three forwards touch it. Thomas has it. Gets it to the Torchy. Torchy goes in. Oh, tried to slide it over to Thomas as he kept going to the net and just went wide. So Canton with some good opportunity here. Anderson has it. He throws it up. That's going to go to Torchy. Torchy stops. He has it. Tries to get through the defense. And he'll throw it back into the corner. So Franklin trying to move it out now. 217 fast moving period here left in this period 2 to 2 to the score going to get icing on Ken and this this line has been all over Franklin in this period Pete I didn't see him in the first period but this second period they have just you know the puck has been in the Franklin zone every time they've been on the ice and threatening with good scoring opportunities yeah no question that first unit uh, playing very very well for Canton tonight and on the face off here Joe Ryan, sophomore. Joe Ryan able to win that faceoff. Carr has it, but he lost it behind the net. Carr again has it. He throws it up, chips it up the boards. That's going to go to Ryan, but his pocket is picked as he's trying to get it out of the zone. Now behind the net, Patterson has it. He tries to swing the net, still has it, throws it back, but that's intercepted there by Joe Ryan. So behind the net now, Schumann. Schumann has it. Schumann gets it up to Ryan. That gets it up to Drury. Drury in stride. He gets over the line. He cuts into the middle. Drury takes uh, the shot. He throws it towards the net. Just goes wide. Schumann steps up, takes a shot. That's blocked in front. Franklin able to get it down. And we have a partial breakaway here. Two on one. And Franklin takes a shot. Oh, it hit the post. Looks like it hit the post to the right of Gagan as Franklin able to Get the puck down in the Canton zone. They ended up with a two-on-one. Good passing there. And uh, good, good. Uh, I'll tell you, that was uh, lucky there. Canton came out of that one as Gagan came out, played the angle right, Steve. But, uh, you know, that, that nice yeah. shot on net, but just hit the post. Yeah, it, where it started, it hopped over the uh, Canton player's stick at the blue line, and Franklin had a head of steam come down with the two-on-one. And the fenceman played it right. And, you know, take the pass away. Goalie got the shooter, but they ended up getting a good shot off, and uh, goalie's best friend did the work. Absolutely. So on the faceoff, Franklin's going to win that one. That's going to go out to center ice. One minute left in the second period. Two to two the score. Game everything we thought it would be. A lot of hard-hitting action. Good opportunities for both teams. Howard comes back now. He tries to throw it in. It's going to go back to the Canton zone as Thompson has it. He throws it over to Anderson. That's going to go to McCready. McCready gets over the blue line. He's checked as good back checking there by the Franklin player, Balducci. Balducci starts out with it. He's going to throw it around. And Franklin trying to move it out. Stopped there by Gershney. That's stopped by Howard now. Howard throws it towards the net. And that's deflected into the netting by the goaltender Wagner. So 20 seconds left in this second period. Everything we thought it would be, Pete. Two best teams in the Hockamock League. Tie game, uh, probably going into the third period, unless we can pop one in right here. Um, I mean, it's just what you expect when you come to see a Canton-Franklin game. I don't care if one program's down. When you play these games, they're tight. Absolutely, no question there, Steve. And Franklin able to get that puck into the Canton zone. And behind the net, Anderson, along with Schumann. Anderson has it. They're both checked uh, behind the net. Four seconds left. That'll just about do it in this period. As a little scuffle continues. As both teams play with a chip on their shoulder all the time. Referees try and break them up and get them back into their respective well, locker Well, I mean, Canton rooms. did beat them the first time they played. They did. Okay, so Franklin's, uh, you know, got something to prove that, hey, we're, we're as good as you are, if not better. But Canton's standing tall, not putting up with anything. And uh, it's going to be an exciting third period, Pete. No question. Two to two to the score. I'll tell you, Steve, both, great action at both ends of the ice. Uh, you know, Canton, Canton getting that, uh, that, that game-tying goal there on the power play and, uh, you know, by the freshman Elric. And uh, 
I'll tell you, just uh, you know that you said it earlier. That that first line for Canton just flying. Yeah, they're flying right now. But uh, even all the other lines, Pete, they're all playing well. They're keeping the their, the four checking against the boards has been was excellent that period. You know, they kept Franklin hemmed in their own zone for quite a bit of time, and um, Goggin making the save when he has to make the save. Absolutely. You know? So stay tuned, hockey fans. We're looking forward to a great third period. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, hockey fans, here at the Metropolis Rink on a, on a uh, Saturday night, Steve. It's, uh, Gonna gonna get a first snowstorm of the year, actually in two years, and Canton's playing Franklin and uh, two to two score, and I'll tell you what a game. Couldn't ask for a better game right now. This is everything uh, you want a Canton Franklin game to be. A lot of hard hitting action, uh, you know, up and down, up and down play. Good goaltending on both ends. So uh, you know, it's been a great game so far, and and so the score shows two to two. Right, two to two. So. I, I know they beat them, Canton beat them earlier in the year, 4-3. to three. One of the games is a non-league game, one's a league game. This is the first, this is the this, league this game. This is yep. the league game. So yep. this has more implications than the non-league game. Yep. You know, the winner of this usually wins the Hockamock League. So. Absolutely. So, so <laughs> absolutely, uh, you know, Excuse great, uh, you know, great hockey game so far. Packed Canton rink here. Uh, you know, can't fit another person in here at Ponky right now. I'll tell you, there's so many people they got signs on the door that it's sold out. So, no. I, I, <clears throat> Excuse me. I think, Pete, if they keep playing the way they did in the second period, the way that first line is really uh, creating chances and the other two lines are playing really well, I, th I think they'll be fine. Yeah, no question. They'll make, uh, you know, Coach Schumann always seems to, uh, to have the, uh, the right recipe between periods, certainly, and uh, he's going to have these guys fired up, ready to play this game uh, so uh, we're waiting for the uh, third period face-off here. First unit for Canton out there. We would nothing. We would expect nothing less now. Brendan Torji on the face-off against Patterson. Patterson's going to win that one. That's going to go up into the Canton zone. And back comes Thompson. He's going to leave it there. Gets it up ice. Tries to hit Torji. Breaking out. Just can't connect. Anderson now has it behind his own net. Anderson throws it up. Oh, it's blocked in front by Patterson. Patterson gets it out front to Daly. Daly takes a shot. And I think Gagan made, I think it made it through, and Gagan made the save there. So Anderson behind his own net. He gets it up, tries to hit Thomas, can't, can, can't, can't connect. So Canton finally able to gain control. As Anderson gets it, he's going to throw it down deep. As Canton getting a change here, as Franklin started out this period, and in the Canton zone, as Franklin moves it up, now that's going to go into the uh, Canton zone. Lampazona has it. He's checked by Carr. Puck taken away. Drop back for Carr. Carr will start out with it. He gets it up uh, up into center ice as Canton comes back with it now. That's uh, Joe Ryan. Ryan has it on his backhand. He's going to throw it all the way around. Gets it back to Carr. Over to Schumann. Schumann steps up, takes a shot. And that's tipped in front. And didn't hit the netting, so that's no whistle there. Carr has it. He takes a shot. That's blocked in front. Drury gets it. He turns. That's blocked. Marshan has it now for Franklin. He moves it up to Daly. Daly throws it towards the net. Schumann blocked that one. Back to Daly. Now he takes a shot. Oh, puck loose out in front as Gagan made the save. Let the rebound out, but uh, Canton Anderson able to move that puck right out, and Canton is going to get called for icing here. Well, you'll take that icing, change up the line. Great save by Gargan there, Pete. And, uh, you know, they cleared it out. But uh, good forechecking by Franklin, you know, putting the pressure on early in this third period. So face off.
Osborne. It appears we're experiencing some te technical difficulties on this stream. It appears that the feed from Canon Community TV has gone down and we have gone back McConnell, and the down. systems have gone back to um, the Two previous folks game. Who gives it right back and it's going to go in. The Canton HD channel is still showing a black screen right now and on the rest of the Canton Community TV channels we can check that right now community channels not showing anything and the government channel appears not to be showing anything for the time being I'm going to leave this on the HD channel and hopefully be stored soon.
8.46 left in the set, uh, third period. 846 left in the set. Two to two, still the score. 846 left in the set. Two to two, still the score. 846 left in the set. Two to two, still the score. 846 left in the set. Two to two, still the score. 846 left in the set. Two to two, still the score. 846 left in the set. Two to two, still the score. 846 left in the set. Two to two, still the score. and Franklin trying to move it out Marchand he gets it up gets it to Balducci Balducci he's going to take it in he's stopped there by Schumann as puck along the sideboards McCready now McCready's going to come out with a good play there by Huck McCready just a sophomore Playing very well tonight. Getting a lot of ice time, Steve. Yeah, he's doing very well, Pete. He's been great along the boards. Yeah, like in that play right there, he was just he, he just got ganged up on two on one, but he's he's got his legs moving tonight. So puck behind the Canton net. And Schumann will throw it up. Tried to hit Drury. That is gonna get out of the zone. Defenseman couldn't keep it in. Drury on the four check. Has Canton getting the change? They're gonna move it in. Good play there. That's going to be thrown in. Oh, good play. Oh, the, oh, that was Colin Blake took the shot. And what a save by Wagner. And Franklin's going to ice that puck. Blakey came in, took the shot. What a pass, Pete. He, he, he was in all alone. The goalie had him. And the uh, goalie slid over. And fantastic save. He had, he had the whole left side of the net open. And the goalie slid across, making a fantastic save. So good opportunity for Canton. There, as uh, Wagner made some nice stops. Ryan on the faceoff. Ryan's going to win that one. He gets it to Drury. Drury throws it right out front. Oh, Blake scores! Colin Blake! He made sure that time, Pete. <laughs> Top shelf. <laughs> I'll tell you, what passing there. Joe Ryan on the faceoff. Pushes it forward, gets the puck, and he gets he, it over. He, he kicked it back to the other... Uh, uh, the winger who went over to Blakey, and he made no mistake about that one, Pete. Up under the crossbar. No question there as Colin Blake can't, comes up big as Canton goes up 3-2. to two. I'll tell you, great, great faceoff there by Ryan. Touched by all three forwards, and Blakey puts it in. That was a great shift by that line, Pete. They had the first opportunity where the goalie made a fantastic save, and that one there where Blakey said, no, not this time. And that was, I believe that was Drury on the sideboards. So Blake gets the goal. And Joe Ryan on the assist. That's a great, great play. Huge goal there for Canton. Six minutes left in this third period. Canton up three to two now. So we're going to see some real action here, as I'm sure Franklin's going to yeah, start the press. You're going to have to stay on it, Pete, because you know Franklin's going to uh, up their game another notch here. So puck uh, play continues on the sideboards. As Franklin able to keep it in, Marshawn has it. He's, his shot is blocked. So in the corner now. Clegg has it. He's going to try and move it up as that's number 27. Doucette gets it out to center ice as Franklin dumps it down deep, and they're trying to get a wholesale change here to get some fresh legs out there. As they do, Canton able to get that puck down, and they get it down deep. Puck into the Franklin zone. Harrington for Franklin has it. He's going to move it up, but that's blocked. Kept in by Canton. Picked up again by Harrington, but uh, gets into the Canton zone. So puck out at center ice now. Back comes Canton. That's Torji. Torji takes the shot. Oh, it just goes wide as he's going for that top corner. Elric now on the sideboards. Franklin able to move it out. But that's blocked there by Torji again. Brendan Torji all over the ice tonight. I'll uh, tell you what, Pete. Wagner got a piece of that shot by... Uh by Torji, he got a piece of his blocker or shoulder that knocked that over the net. So Canton 
playing uh, the first unit again, coming through here, keeping that puck in the zone as Canton getting a change now. And Franklin trying to move it back. That's Daly at center ice. He started, starts out with it again. He's four-checked there. As uh, McCready again on the four-check. Good play there by McCready to keep him in his own zone. Howard now at center ice. That's picked up by Gershny. He, he's going to throw it down deep as Wagner stops it behind his own net. And back comes Patterson for Franklin. He starts out. He's got a head of steam. He gets over the line. He takes a shot. Oh, and a big save by Gagan. Gagan came out, cut that angle down, didn't give him much to shoot at, and he just got his glove right on it. i tell you what, Patterson for uh, Franklin's been flying all night long, Pete. Probably one of their best players, uh, shift to shift. And he, uh, he had a head of steam going there, like you said, and uh, good save by the goalie because that was labeled for the far corner. So face off in the Canton zone. So Canton's going to win now, and that's Joe Ryan. He wins that face off again. He's able to pick up the loose puck. Back comes Canton again. Blake has it. He throws it into the middle. Tried to hit Ryan, and just intercepted there. Ryan and Drury trying to go for the net, but Franklin able to intercept that puck. They're trying to move it out. As Canton up three to two, four twenty-three left in this third period. Franklin able to get it down. Lampasone is going to throw it into the zone. That's going to go towards the net. That's stopped there by Thompson. He throws it up the boards. Franklin able to keep it in. Blake has it. He tries to hit Ryan. Well, I'm sorry, that's Drury at the blue line. Drury has it. So Drury tries to take it on his backhand, but he's broken up. Franklin moves it out to center ice, and Canton right there throws it right back in on Wagner. That's take what you want, Pete. You want to get it down low. Uh, just make them go the whole length of the ice right now. You, you know, you're trying to you know, make them work as hard as they can just to get it in your zone. And taking valuable seconds off the clock as uh, time is fleeting here with 340 left in this third period. So this daily takes a shot, but that's blocked by the Canton defense. Canton's going to dump it down deep. Howard throws it in there. On the four check is Gershney. He, now McCready. McCready throws it down behind the net. Franklin's got to break it out again from behind their own net. They'll throw it up the sideboards as that goes out to center ice. And that's Warning has it. He tries to turn Morris. Good play there by Morris. Put the body on him. Goes back to the point. Lampasona has it. He throws it down deep. That's going to go to Morris again. And he gets it out of the zone. Stopped at center ice there. As Franklin now, uh, Canton getting a wholesale change. And they got fresh bodies out there. Elric has it to Thomas. And that's just offside as Thomas just couldn't get out, out of well, the zone. Well, I think Elric was just trying to dump it down deep again. And it just happened to go right onto Thomas's <laughs> stick. It was a good pass. Very good. Good pass. So face off outside the Franklin zone. 2.47 left in this game. 3-2 to two the score. I'll tell you, a great game, up and down action. This third period has been great high school hockey. Nothing, yeah, I mean, two of, the best, better. Pete, two of the top 20 teams in the state right here. Um, you know, you can't ask for better hockey on a Saturday night. What else you doing, <laughs> no, right? No question, no question. They, uh, and it and, uh, looks like Franklin called the timeout. Uh, good play there by the Franklin coach. Uh, you, just, uh, you know, it, it was uh, definitely got to settle the kids down. 2.47 left in the game, Steve. They're down by a goal. And and certainly, uh, you know, longtime coach uh, Spillane, uh, he knows this game better than anybody. He's been coaching for so long. Uh, it, you know, he's settled the kids down and, and, and get them. Uh, Probably giving them a heads up to Pete if they do get an offensive fade because you don't want to take the time out when it's 10 seconds left in the game. Getting the kids a heads up. Hey, we're getting an offensive zone faceoff. We're going to probably pull the goalie. Keep an eye on that. And this is what we want to do on that offensive faceoff. Left side, right side. Like you said, he's been around a long time. He knows the game. He knows what's going on. And these kids listen to him, and you can tell on how they play every <laughs> single year. No question. So so both coaches gives uh, both teams a little bit of a breather, and, and uh, we'll see who Coach Schulman comes back with. With three minutes left in this I, I game. Mean, you would think he'd come out with the top line with Torgi, and, and he well, has come well, out with that Well, there he line. is. He's Brendan Torgi at, uh, at, on the faceoff. And out there with Thomas and Elric. 
So Georgie's going to win that one. That goes to Thomas, and he's going to throw it down deep. Oh, they're going to call an ice and Pete. He was right on the red line. Wow, that's getting picky. Yeah, that, that was I, – I didn't even think he was that close to the red yeah, line. Yeah, it, but I it guess was he close, was. but usually when you get that close, you know how the game rolls. They they usually let that roll, but uh, – Yeah, not not this time. So nope. face-off in the Canton zone. Torgy on the face-off. He's on the face-off against Patterson. See who uh, who's going to win this one. Torgy uh, – Patterson goes to the net with it, takes the shot. That just goes wide. As Franklin able to keep the puck in, Torgy tries to move it out. That goes back to the point to Daly. Daly takes a shot. Oh, it just goes wide again. Gagan out in front. Puck still loose. Gagan trying to get his glove on it. Loose behind the net now. That's going to go as Canton throws it the length of the ice as Franklin does get some good offense there. Hard to see from this vantage where we're standing, uh, Steve, but it looked like Gagan made a couple nice saves. He, there. he made a couple of really good saves on the side of the net, Pete. It just it kept – Franklin kept digging and digging, and it, it kept ending up behind the net, which is what Canton wants. So face off in the Canton zone again as Franklin trying to get some offense here. Patterson against Joe Ryan. Patterson's going to win that one. Oh, shot from the point, and it just deflected in front. Kept in again by Franklin. Puck loose in front of the Canton net. And Franklin keeps it in again. Balducci, he'll throw it down deep. And Schumann behind the net now. He tries to gain control. Joe Ryan now behind the net. He tries to pick it up. That's going to go to Patterson. Patterson has it on the sideboards. We'll keep an eye on the goaltender for Franklin. See when they're going to pull him. I'm surprised they haven't taken him yet. So comes in on oh, a big save there by Wagner as Drury came to the top of the circle. That's a great play, Pete. He makes the goalie tie it up after he shoots it, drives hard to the net. Now you get an offensive zone faceoff. Canton gets a full a wholesale change out there. Yeah, I mean. And, it's, he, and he comes right back with the number one line. But, you know, now you're down to a minute 43. So we'll see when uh, when Coach uh, Spillane decides he's going to pull Wagner. They got to get it out of the zone and they got to get it out quick. But Canton's going to win that one. Franklin's going to start out with it. Marshawn has it. He gets out of the zone. He gets it into the Canton zone. But Canton able to intercept now out in the neutral zone. So Wagner has to stay in the net, and that's broken up by Canton. Back comes uh, Balducci, though. Balducci off the boards. He has it. He throws it rink wide. But good back checking there by Torgi. Torgi has it. He comes in. He takes a shot, and Wagner with the save again. As Canton crashes the net there, Thomas goes for the net. And, uh, and Torgy follows up his shot again, Steve, making Wagner tie that puck up. Yep, absolutely. If you're going to shoot it on uh, – if you're going to shoot the puck, have it with a purpose. And it was such a good shot that Wagner had to tie it up. So a minute 15 left in this game, 3-2 to two the score. Franklin desperately trying to get some offense, but the puck uh, still remains into the in the Franklin zone. Franklin finally gets it out. It's going to go to the Canton defense. Ryan has it. He'll throw it down deep. Stopped behind his net by Wagner. Good forecheck there by Drury. But out comes Balducci for, for Franklin. He uh, he gets it over the line, but can't enable to dump it out. And again, they're going to throw it out. But it looks like this one's offside. going to be offside on Franklin. Great with, job by the Canton players. Standing up at the blue line, Pete. With 54 seconds left in this game. Three goal, to two to score. And more importantly, the goalie's still in the net for Franklin. I, I don't get that. I don't understand that one he at should, all. I mean, to me, he should be at least halfway out right now. And then, you know, Canton wins the faceoff, dumps it down again. So behind the net, Drury, he throws it behind the net. As Canton or Franklin trying to, this is going to be offside. Uh, no. Yeah, high, high stick. High I'm stick. sorry. High stick on Franklin. So there will be another whistle. Deep in the Franklin zone. Canton able to get some fresh legs out there. All these quick whistles lets Canton just keep rolling out a new line right after a new line, Pete. So Canton first unit out there. Torgy, Elric, and Thomas. So Franklin trying to move it, uh, get it out. And they'll start out with it here. Marshall, and we'll see if they can get any kind of offense going. As Puck goes down and Torgy comes in on a breakaway. Torgy comes in. He takes a shot. He scores! Brandon Torgy scores! As he picked up the loose puck and what? goes in on Wagner and pulled him out, Steve. Made a nice play to go around him. 
It looked like it hit the post and then hit his skate and went in. Yeah, he, it went behind the goalie and then hit the back of him and went back into the net. But what a great move by Torgy P. He just turned on the Jets and blew by the defenseman, who, by the way, had the angle on him to cut it off. But he turned on the Jets and just leaned his shoulder. Just what a, what a great offensive player he is. I'll tell you, Torgy turned on the Jets as he came around the top of that faceoff circle and just went right in, cut right in front of Wagner, right right in front of him, right through the crease, and put the puck on net. I think I think it hit the post, and then it came back out, but hit Wagner in the back yes. and, and rolled right in. So it yeah. doesn't matter how. It went in the net. So it doesn't, uh, doesn't matter who uh, or how it got in. So eight seconds left in this game. What a game for Canton. This is a huge win, Steve. Huge win for them in the Hockamock League. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, they had a, uh, you know, good. They beat Foxborough the other day, 4-2. to two. Not sure how Foxborough is. To, I'm sure they have a decent team. But um, Canton might have been looking ahead to this game on Saturday against Franklin. And uh, I'll tell you, a good 4-2 win. You know, I came in after the first period. They were down 2-1. And I think for the majority of the play, 90% of the play, Canton owned the last two periods. Yeah, no question there. And, and I'll tell you, they, uh, you know, they were down. And, and, you know, Franklin came back. Give them credit. They, they scored a couple nice goals. Yeah. But uh, Canton did not give up. And they scored these last two goals of the game, made it through, made it, uh, made it uh, two, uh, two to two, tied it up, and then uh, – Brendan Torgy there puts puts it away with the four to two win. And as much as you know, these teams don't like each other. There's a lot of respect between the two hockey teams because they know how good each of them are. And it's a and it's a it's a test, Pete. It's a it's a litmus test on how where are you during the season? Right. Where where do we stand right now? Because you're gonna, you know, the Hockey Martin League is not the strongest league. That's why Coach Schumann and Spinell go outside and play these really hard non-league games. But this game here is a test to, all right, where do we stand right now? You know, maybe a quarter, almost halfway through the season. Yeah, no question. And, uh, you know, Canton comes out victorious in this one again. And I'll, I'll tell you, just a, a just a great hockey game back and forth. Both teams played great, Steve. Yeah, I mean, it, no, was, it was definitely a great, great, uh, great hockey game. I would have thought uh, Coach Bellini would have pulled the goalie a little earlier. Didn't really have the opportunity, though. Some, uh, he ended yeah. up with one faceoff inside their zone with yep. 210 left. You know, maybe the fact that Canton was winning more of the faceoffs, he didn't want to do that. He wanted to make sure they had control, and Canton was winning all the faceoffs, and and they were doing a good job getting it over the red line and dumping Dumping. it in. They weren't just icing the puck, which made a huge difference. Just take take time off and putting the putting the puck on Wagner, so he had to tie it up. So very very good game. I mean, the last minute and ten was like a slow burn for Franklin because what they were trying to do, they couldn't accomplish it because Canton just wouldn't let them do it. Yeah, no question. So everything we thought it would be and more. So it was a great game, a great win for the Bulldogs, 4-2 to two win here and at the Ponky Rink on a Saturday night. And like I said uh, earlier, there's nothing, uh, nothing better we, we would uh, or nowhere we would rather be at this point, Steve. So I'll tell you, great game back and forth. Good, uh, good goaltending by, by Gagan on the, other, on, uh, on the Canton side and certainly good, uh, good uh, uh, goaltending by um, – by Wagner on on Franklin, so right. it was a good goaltender's game, and uh, you know, but it, it was everything we thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, sold out, can't get in. <laughs> you know, everybody, this is a place to be on a Saturday night. Absolutely, and we're live here at the Ponky Rink, and uh, you know, just a great great night for uh, for hockey. And the girls are on next, and we're going to bring that to you live here too. So stay tuned uh, for that, as Steve and I will be back. Uh, for the girls game and we look for a big game there too so you know it, it just uh, I, again the boys season they're, they're undefeated 7-0-1 now uh, beating Franklin in the Hockamock League they're on a roll they're on a roll and I, I mean a- after this game in the league I don't see him losing to anybody uh, in the league <laughs> right um, you know I'm not sure I don't have the schedule in front of me I don't know what the non-league games are but I'm sure they're pretty tough he plays a bunch he plays there's a few at the end of the season that he always plays and they also have the Ed Burns tournament yep. that comes up yep. and uh, and you know that'll be and they could end up 
as good as they are, they could end up in that top division this year. They always, they always, Coach Schumann always gets a good schedule and, and right. gets them, especially towards the end of the season, so they can. Yeah, you so, want to be so tournament get, ready. Get ready for the tournament. So that will do it for us for here for tonight. I mean, that was a great game, uh, great game against Franklin. Love playing Franklin. Joe always loved to play Frank. Love playing Franklin because we, we, you know, love to win against them. So it was a big win for Canton. So Steve, as always, I want to thank our cable staff. We have Tanya and Tim is here, and Andrea and Mark back in the booth. And I'll tell you, they do a great job every time. And the legend Joe Donnelly always said, "What did he say, Steve? Greatest cable, great, greatest cable staff in the world, bar none." Uh, they do a great job bringing you these games live from the Ponky Rink. And we'll be right back with the second uh, of this doubleheader tonight. The girls are playing Stoughton. So for the final score, for the final time, Canton 4, Franklin 2. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs>